Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are bringing back the Your Best Build series, where I look at the best builds made by the Scrapper community on the Discord. Because you guys are full of some amazing talent, especially in Scrap Mechanic, so I think it's nice sometimes to just take a look at what you think your favorite builds are, and um, I pick some of my favorites of those to show off in the video to show what the community is really capable of. Now, unlike the community series like the flooded world and stuff these are completely open themed so they could be anything and everything as far as what kind of creation there are so we're starting off with this one right here and we have a big variety of awesome creations to look at today hopefully we can um, get a decent amount into the video but this is made by ren dog stylish safe fast it's the 1958 model weston apparently so this is a model of a real car and it looks super realistic too so let's go ahead and hop on in here. Wait, actually, does the door open? Oh, of course the door opens. Of course the door opens. So let's go ahead and close the door. Let's press some buttons. All right, we got the headlights. We got the left blinker. We got the right blinker. We got a radio. And we got a horn. Of course, we got a horn. Let's drive this thing around and see how it feels. All right, we're just on a standard terrain map. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to use most of your creations on a terrain map. But, uh, all right, look, this thing, it's solid. Like, this is one of those kind of creations that it's just supposed to look really nice and work really nice. It's just a cool-looking creation. Like, even look at, like, the way that the tires are working with, like, the suspension and stuff. Like, this thing's super easy to drive. Super easy to control. Like, this is better than anything I build for multiplayer Monday races. So, um, oh, th those are not very convenient, are they? <laughs> All right, so just like check out the detail on this thing and let's go ahead and head on to another completely different creation. All right, up next, this is by Shrew2. This is a 100% automated bowling alley that resets the pins. It barely lags when welding down. So I just gotta make sure I follow these important instructions here and hopefully I don't mess anything up. All right, I think I have it set up and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, the green button is to start, okay. Oh, it even displays what pins you have. All right, so I'm assuming I just grab one of these, put it down, and then just hit it with my hammer. Look at the rollback down here and everything. All right, so let's see if we can get a strike first try. All right, and... Uh. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh. oh, it says wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Look at that. It's clearing out the pins. It's pushing the ball over there. All right, now it shows me the oh, and the ball just came back. That's awesome. All right, let's grab another ball, see if we can pick up the spare. I wonder if it'll tell me spare. All right, and eh. oh, it's looking good. Oh, we were close. Oh, and it also it cleans the pins. Look at that. So it's probably gonna restack then, right? Is that the loading signal? Is it is it giving me a loading bar right now? Is that what this is? All right, well, I guess we'll wait for the uh, the bowling alley to finish loading my pins. All right, we're almost there. We're at like 95%. Is it going to do the thing where like it shows 95%, but then you have to wait at 95% for like 10 minutes? Oh, 100%. Lag. Oh, oh, it's giving me a lag warning and it actually lagged a little bit. It's putting the pins down. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh, it's actually not even reading the pin there. It's like I already got a point. All right, but that's okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let that slide because everything that just happened. Oh, whoop! I think, I think I did. I break something. Did I, I'm not supposed to put it right there. I'm supposed to put it back here, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and angle here and see if we can get another. Or see if we can actually get like a strike. Oh, oh, it actually says strike because it wasn't reading that pin. So I think we just got ourselves a strike. Awesome. All right, and then it's gonna reload and it's just a bowling game that you can play. So if you wanna get it on the workshop, it's automatic bowling. So that is like, that's genuinely a really impressive creation. Like I, I have no idea. I kinda wanna go back here and take a look. Like what is, like, whoa, look at that. They're all getting fed in. You can just kinda see, they're on like a conveyor belt. They're all getting fed in one by one. That's kinda crazy. So it is actually the same pins. It's actually the same pins being loaded in. I thought they might have like two sets of, the, of them or something, but nope. You can actually, each pin, I guess, gets loaded. 
Where is it even getting loaded into? Because they come down from up here, don't they? I kind of want to see how this works. All right, so it looks like we have one more pin left. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, what's the loading at now? It's getting close. They're getting placed. You can see, like, whatever that thing is, it's grabbing a pin. Oh, here we go. Lag, lag, lag. Oh, okay, so those open up. The pins get dropped down. That is just crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. I'm super impressed with that. All right, let's look at some more amazing creations from you guys. All right, up next, I don't really know what to expect with this, to be honest, but it looks like a walker that pulls something behind it. It's called the Scrappy Puller Bot. This is by Robotti. So I, uh, I don't know what to expect from this thing, but it... Oh, look at the suspension on that. That's pretty cool. These legs look awesome. I'm really curious to see how this thing works. All right, it looks like we drive it from this seat here. All right, so if I press W, holy cow, what? What? This is kind of crazy. This is actually kind of crazy. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening here. Wait, so if I press, what? Uh, I don't know what that is. It, it, it like turns everything around when I press S. All right, number one. All right, number one just turns it on, apparently. Ugh, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 stop. Okay, number two is climb mode. We have climb mode, reverse mode, and guns. All right, so what does climb mode do? Is this climb mode? I don't think so. Is this climb mode? I don't understand. What's the difference between normal mode and climb mode? Oh, I see. Climb mode activates thrusters on the feet, so it's just that much more uh, grippy for the ground. Okay, then, uh, stopping is so awkward. All right, number three is supposed to be reverse mode. So if I do number three, okay, it switches it around. So now when I press forward, oh, look at that. That is pretty awesome. All right, and then number four was guns. Wait, now that it's facing me though, hold on, wait, just, there we go, stand up straight. Oh, it's not facing me. It's actually, the guns are facing the other way still. So four is guns. And then you got guns going. This is like, who thinks of this? This is such a weird concept, but I love it. That's what I like about it, is how weird of a concept it is. It almost feels like a farming type machine, which I guess makes sense for the scrap mechanic world. Now, the qu real question is, what happens when you take it off this jump over here? I think that's the question that we need to know when the scrappy puller robot uh, goes off of a jump. It's probably not, it's just, it's just gonna fall into the pit, isn't it? Go, go, go. <laughs> yep. Yep, I could have guessed that. In fact, I did guess that, believe it or not. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and delete this thing off the lift. That was a really fun creation. I liked that a lot. <laughs> let's see what other kind of craziness we're going to be looking at. All right, up next, we have a model type thing. This is apparently a retro style 50s diner, which I think will be really cool to explore and look at. All right, and actually, without even welding it, it's not even that laggy. So let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at it as is. All right, we've got a really nice parking lot here. Let's go ahead and head in through the front door. Look at the, look at the lighting. The lighting in here is actually really cool. Got some booths to sit at. We got a bar to, I guess, stand at because there's no seats here. We got the radio. Let's go ahead and head on behind the bar here or behind the counter. And looks like we got a nice kitchen. I love the floor too. That must've been meticulous to paint unless, nope, yeah, that's painted. Okay, I thought maybe there was like a mod that might just be a, checkerboard pattern floor or something but nope all right we got some ac back here we got all the kitchen stuff and the sinks and then we got the back door here yeah really just sleek and nice looking build a good model of a 50s diner great for like an atmospheric like town or something i like it a lot all right that was a quick one let's get on to the next creation all right up next by mr spinosaurus we have a portal 2 crusher so this is apparently based off of the crusher in portal 2 and i'm wondering it says it uses the sharp stuff mod, so I'm wondering if we put something destructible in it, will it actually like destroy it? Simply place the objects you wish to pulverize inside the caution square. Press one of the buttons and enjoy the sight of your destructible creation being mindlessly demolished. Oh, that looks super cool. I love that right there. That's really awesome use of the satellite pieces and stuff. I like this. This thing looks awesome. All right, well, let's find something destructible. All right, so I think this actually came from 
one of the multiplayer Mondays with um, when the destruction mod first came out. I think this is a completely destructible car here. Yep, this is destructible. So let's just put this box of a car. Oh, wait, I should probably weld this to the ground so I can actually spawn something on there. All right, this is actually kind of big, I think, for this. Oh, yeah, it's a little big. It's just, it's a little big for this. Here, let's try to spawn it in a little bit better. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay, we may, we, we probably should have started smaller. So hopefully this isn't going to like break it, but I'm assuming I press the red button and then it works. All right, there we go. Oh. Um. <laughs> I think it did one block of damage. I think this thing might be too big. Here, let's lift it back up. Press it again. It's trying. It is trying. Hey, you can see it trying at least, right? It, 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 maybe, maybe we should have had a smaller object in here. I may have, may, may have got a little bit too excited on this one. Hold on. All right, let, let's just, let's just build something destructible. Here, here, here we go. This is how you do it. We're just gonna, this guy's name, um, his name's gonna be Jeff. And Jeff here has volunteered for the experiment of being crushed by the crusher. So everyone give, give a nice, Warm, uh, welcome and goodbye to Jeff here. Nice to meet him and, um, we'll never see him again. Oh, that doesn't look fun. That, that doesn't, that doesn't look good for Jeff's well-being. <laughs> it just put a dent in the middle of his head. That's all that did. Did these, do did these do anything different or is it the same thing? Oh, it looks like Jeff may have lucked out. I mean, he may, he may have lost most of his brain, but he seems to be in a position where uh, the spikes just don't hit him here. So he's lucky. He's lucky. So yeah, really, really cool design. Functionality could be turned up a bit with maybe some more spikes on this thing. Actually, you know what? We can do that. We can do that. All right, let's see how Jeff fares against the new and improved. Well, not new, but slightly improved crusher here. There you go, Jeff. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Jeff has no head. This is definitely much more effective. Oh, no. This is so much more effective. All right, everyone everyone, say bye to Jeff. Um, his contribution to science will be forever appreciated, and his name will forever be remembered as Jeff. All right, on to the next creation. All right, up next by Sometimes It's Not Minecraft is a really sleek-looking rocket bike. So let's go ahead and hop in this thing and uh, give it a try. We'll start pressing some buttons. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, check this out. Uh oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're good. No, no, we're good. We're good. Just don't slam into rocks. All right, hold on. Let's let's test them. Oh, okay, I can pitch up with that. I can pitch forward with that. Okay, we're going up in the air now. All right, this thing is pretty cool. Look, oh. I am terrible at driving it, but it is pretty cool looking. I mean, if you pitch yourself up like the right way and stuff, it 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 works pretty well. But uh, yeah, as like a design, I don't know if this is modeled after anything, but if this is an original design, this is an awesome original design, and I like it a lot. It almost looks like um, a 50s style design. Like this would fit good in like a futuristic 50s diner. If that makes sense. So imagine this thing just parked in the parking lot of that 50s diner we had earlier. Like old aesthetics, but futuristic functionality. It's a really cool look. All right, let's uh, crash down into the ground here. And uh, I think we have time for a couple more, maybe two more creations. All right, up next by Robot Terminator 11 is apparently a working LMG that actually shoots. So this thing looks pretty cool. It's a pretty decent model. Oops, I spawned two in accidentally, but check this out. So uh, I guess if you pull the trigger, it shoots. So I'm gonna put a seat on this thing and we're gonna sit on top of the aiming and we're gonna attach the switch to the seat so we can see it shoot from up here, I hope. All right, so, oh, you can see it's loaded in there. Don't ever aim a gun at your face like this. That's a bad idea. All right, well, let's just press the button and see what happens. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. All right, it shoots potatoes. I didn't know if it was gonna shoot um, physical objects or like, but look at that, that looks so cool. It's like a belt fed thing. That's really cool looking. This is a really cool idea. 
I thought for a second it might actually shoot like pipes as projectiles, but I forgot that we actually have like projectiles in the game now using the spud guns, so we don't need to do that anymore. And this is way better, way more effective. Look at this. So yeah, super cool model, also functional and a uh, little bit, little bit big. I don't know what would be able to hold such a thing and actually be able to use it as like a, a weapon on it. That'd be pretty impressive. But uh, we have time for one more creation and we're gonna be taking a look at this called PTO Medusa by Entropy One here. And um, this thing just looks kind of crazy. It's an AI thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, hopefully I can figure out how to do that. I'm assuming that there's a button right there. I'm just gonna hit that button and I hope that it works. What, what, what you doing? Oh, oh, it's turned on. I think it's turned on. I think it's turned. Oh, it's shooting me. <laughs> All right, what does it do? It's just following me. It's just looking at me and shooting at me. I feel like I need to spawn in like a cardboard destructible vehicle or something and see what happens. You know, I'm going to spawn in that, that vehicle that we had. Um, this thing, the destruction racer, and we're gonna see, I'm just gonna put this on here so I can get inside really quick. All right, go, go. He blew up my seat. He literally blew up my seat. Look at what he's done. All right, I'm just gonna hide in here. I'm just gonna, this is my, this is my safe zone, my safety, my safe space, my safety zone. Oh no. Oh, ow, ow, oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh. And it crashed my game. Well, I think that's probably a good spot to end it then. The Medusa was so destructive, it destroyed the entire uh, executable. So uh, we can no longer play Scrap Mechanic ever again. Well, obviously we just have to restart it, but um, that was going to be my last creation anyway. So thanks to everyone who participated in submitting your creations and congratulations to those of you that created something crazy or ridiculous enough to actually make it into the video. I'm looking forward to seeing some more stuff. If you want a chance to participate in videos like this in the future, make sure you join the Discord with the link down below. I'm looking forward to seeing some more awesome stuff by you guys in the scrapyard. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.